Time to go behind the enemy lines presented by Windows 11. Very pleased to be joined by the longtime voice of the Houston Texans, Mark Vandermeer. Mark, as always, thanks so much for the time. Mike, it's always a pleasure, I think. I'll let you know Sunday afternoon. Okay, I understand. I want to talk first about your coach, David Culley. He's a hero in these parts. He's from Sparta, Tennessee. Very popular guy. What has it been like to work with him in year one of his tenure with the Houston Texans? I can't say enough about him, Mike. He's the nicest guy. He's totally positive. He's got a wealth of experience. To go through what we're going through, you wouldn't want anybody else with you than David Culley. What were the Texans' main focuses during the bye week which just occurred? Well, they need to cut down on penalties and turnovers. Look, they take the ball away pretty well, which is one of the things they were preaching in the offseason with Lovey Smith's defense. It's not that elaborate, but it's been pretty effective. The offense has been turning the ball over. You have penalties every drive that seems promising, and they've got to cut down on that. So during the bye, that's been a huge focus for this team. It's been too much pressure on these quarterbacks in the passing game. It hasn't been a good recipe. Is there a sense that Tyrod Taylor's return can help stabilize the offense? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I would expect a much better performance out of him against the Titans with the off week, a little more rhythm built up, the extra practice day you get on Monday coming off the bye, coming off that weekend. So I'm hoping all these things add up to a better performance for Taylor. Mark, who have been the standouts on defense this year that have enabled the Texans to to do some good things, for sure? Well, you have to look along that defensive front. The line has been doing a good job. You know, they were a 3-4 for so many years, Mike, and now they're a 4-3 with Lovey Smith. They're still taking the ball away. They still get pressure on the quarterback without sending extra people. It really is the best thing about this football team, if I had to pinpoint one, it's that. If the offense could capitalize better on some of the opportunities that they have, then the defensive numbers, that would look a lot better. And Lovey would be one of the better stories in the league right now. So I would say the D-line, John Bernard has seven sacks. You look at a rookie like Roy Lopez playing well for this team. Malik Collins has looked pretty good at times. So they're all contributing up front on that D-line. It's a youth movement there, and it's been no secret. Starting over, kind of rebuilding. Who are the young guys that you've seen on this roster through the course of the year who really are showing promise, whether it be offense, defense, or or both? When I look at the young players, I mentioned Roy Lopez. I mentioned John Grenard, who's a second-year player. Lopez is a rookie. Then you look on the offensive side. Nico Collins, third-round draft choice out of Michigan. Looks pretty good. Revin Jordan hasn't played much, but when he's been in there, it looks like there are some promise. Now, next year, they have their first and second round pick, and maybe they get more if there's a notable trade that a lot of people have been talking about possibly happening. So we'll see where it all goes from here. Mark, what's the formula for the Texans to win games down the stretch? They need to get some good scoring opportunities, take advantage of them, and run the ball, Mike. They have enough guys to do it, but they just haven't been able to put it all together. And the bottom line, David Kelly's positivity, even through some dark moments, giving guys a chance to stay with it, and and that builds a chemistry that you got to have when things aren't perfect. We'll see what they can do here in the final eight games coming off the bye. Maybe they get a little pop. Mark, we'll look forward to seeing you Sunday at Nissan Stadium. Likewise, Mike. Thanks.